All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. There's another situation you just simply cannot make up. Listen, all the time people misrepresent my words. They twist them, they warp them, they distort them. And a lot of times they distort them based on their own preconceived ideals and notions. In other words, if I start talking about something that you could be passionate about and you not even know that you're passionate about, as soon as I say something that disagrees with your general makeup and what and the truth you have allegedly already accepted, makes no difference if it's true or not, and you just start dealing with facts, most people can't deal with facts. They run from flat out facts, all right? Anyway, this is Austin Shetfield, Shutterfield, whatever his name is. You know, the white guy that beat the hell out of the black woman, and mind you, I'm still stick by my words when I say, women, if you don't want to get your rear end beat by a man, do not cross that line and hit him. Now, let's go on with that. What do I think about the situation? I think that, first of all, he's a weak ass man. I already said that. You mean tell me that you can't take care of that no better way? than to have a gun in your hand, brandish a gun. Well, anyway, his charges has been upgraded to a felony assault, which I agree. Um, but I also see what's going on now. And guess what? He's got more uh, attention than he bargained for. He's got news cameras in his face. Uh, he's become popular. He's done shaved his beard. You know what that is for, right? Shaving your beard, it's all tactics employed. Now, this is what I keep talking about in America about the systemic racism that's coming on, that's going on in this country. That most people, since they have been privileged all this time, they refuse to see it. Now you tell me how you're gonna mess this one up. Not only did he beat that woman that bad, which I totally disagree with, even though I know that in that situation, I don't know everything, but with the way he was hitting that woman, now that I don't agree with, all right? I think that all the men there in Dallas should actually find him and see if he wants to fight them. That's what I think. Or at least a few brothers. Just get a few men down there to take that task on themselves. Um, I, I guarantee he won't sit there and approach me like that if I knock the phone out of his damn hand. I promise you that. But let me go on before I get too passionate here. What's really done taking a turn for the worse to show you the systemic racism that goes on in America is now they have charged her with some type of criminal felony by allegedly throwing some type of battery pack through the back window and stuff, and now it's over $2,500 charges, and now she's on felony charges. You cannot make this crap up. See what I mean? There ain't no justice. Not in America. Not It's never been any justice for my people. Um, and they, I don't ever expect any in this country anyway. But that's pretty sad. Now let's reverse these roles. Let's give a hypothetical, truthful situation. If that was a black man beating the hell out of a white woman like that, you wouldn't hear the end of it. Matter of fact, he would still be in a jail because the bomb would be set so high, he couldn't post it. And then, not only that, what's gonna happen is, now if you're gonna get a judge, if you're gonna get a jury of your peers in this situation right here, it needs to be six white people and six black people, but they ain't gonna do that because those DAs and all those prosecutors and those defense attorneys, they know that black people are a little bit more benevolent and more lenient when it comes to moral, just regular moral behavior. Um, and they know that if they put one black person on that jury, that guy's finished. Because a one black person is not gonna look at that tape and, and agree with that butt whooping that he put on that woman. It, it just ain't gonna happen. Um, but to think that, you mean to tell me you beat this woman up like this and then you turn around and, and the next thing you know, she gets a felony charge too as well? That's off the chain. That's what you call American racism, American justice. That's, that's what, what it is. It's American racism and American justice. Now, if I had a situation like that up here, I beat a white woman like that up here in this county, man, you better believe they ain't letting me out. You ain't beat me. I'm telling you. I would expect everybody in the straightway ministries to get a hold of every news source. I expect for y'all to be outside the jail, bringing attention to Faber because you know that Pastor Dowling ain't getting no justice up here. I ain't doing it. I'm just trying to show you that if the roles were reversed, what were really happening. You know what? Some of you know it's the truth, but you still just want to play this game and act like there ain't nothing really happening. It's sad. 
what's going on in this country. It really truly is. It's sad. Uh, but I don't think Shet Fields or whatever his name is, I don't think that no matter what the court of public opinion or the court system judges, if he gets to walk on that street, he's a marked man in this world. I'm telling you right now, that's how people roll uh, nowadays because they cannot get any justice from this system in this world. So many times people take justice for themselves because it's the only closure that they can get. Sad, but it's a true reality. It sure is sad. I don't agree with their verdicts charging this woman. It's, it's, it's just a sick world.